So hey guys, welcome to another stream with me, Supernautus. Today we're playing Resonance. This is a game that uh, was produced by Wajitai, uh, developed by 12 Studios, I believe. Uh, this is, again, another adventure game in a sort of pixely style, I guess. But this particular one, excuse me a second, try to reduce some volume slightly so we're not distorting. Uh, this particular one, we play with four different protagonists linking together, inter interlinking a story, I guess. Just one moment, sorry, I'm just going to mute for just a sec. Just needed a quick drink. And to clear a space, to put my drink next to me. There we are. Uh, I'm just going to move my chat down as well because I can't actually see it. There we go. And we're ready to start the game. So as I say, four protagonists. All linking together into the one story from what I understand. And let's just get on with it. Let's get started. We begin with a news report from Sydney, Australia. Sorry, I should have moved everything closer to me before. Move my keyboard closer because I don't know about this one, but in other games, Wadja I wise, we did need to use our keyboard. Not conventional explosives. These attacks appear to resemble the incident that took place at the Juno Particle Accelerator in Aventine City on Sunday morning. Hmm. Authorities have been calling that an accident. What connection an accident. was it? Could have had a Don't know. Is at this point unknown. Uh, so that's the news. And we begin 60 hours earlier. So let's do it. No. That sound. Make it it's an annoying sound. Where is that noise coming from? We doesn't know where the sound's coming from. Is it the alarm clock? It's not coming from the alarm clock. He would recognise that sound. He doesn't set his alarm on Sundays. Well, what about in here? Sounds louder over here. Nothing but a dirty pair of pants and some socks. Well, has he left a phone? He's coming for my pants. It was my cell phone. There's a surprise. Must have left it in there when he took them off last night. Must have done. Guess I didn't recognise the ring. I don't exactly get a lot of calls. That sounds familiar. Okay, so looks like there's a score system in this game. Uh, it looks like we've got five points. Uh, where, so how... So the question now would be, where are things like our inventory? Okay, so... Our inventory's there, and our phone is dead. It won't work. The battery's dead. So obviously it was ringing, but now it's dead. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Anything more? Is there anything more to this room? Oh, there is. Got some drawers. Maybe we can find some clothes, some clean clothes to wear. The drawer is locked, though. And we have got some random paper on the floor. Where did we leave the key? I guess we'll never know. Finished these equations last night. Why are they on the floor, then? I should hold on to the page with the results. Yeah, I guess that would be a good idea. What else do we have? What else do we have here? A mini fridge, a broken sink, a microwave. I just saw a key that may or may not be useful. What else is around? Masking tape. He doesn't want to move the masking tape for whatever reason. 
does not want to move the masking tape. Well, okay then. So we found a key. That key presumably is for those locked drawers. Yeah, I know. If we go over there, maybe he automatically uses the key. No, the drawer's locked. So we go into our inventory, we use the key. A key doesn't do much without a lock to put it in. Yeah, I know. This is the key to the drawer. There's some important stuff in there. But how do we use it? Yeah, I know the drawer's locked, but how do we actually use the key? Do we drag it? Okay. You drag the item onto what you're wanting. We've unlocked the drawers. We open the drawers and there's a spare battery for his phone. And I guess if we then drag that battery to the phone, we can now find out who was calling us. Who should I call? Who do you want to call? Let's use the address book. Only one number in my address book, 14A. Pretty sure the call couldn't have come from there though. Well, but... Check the caller ID then. Last call here is from a local number. Wait, that's the number for the lab. It's probably Dr. Morales, but what's he doing there so early? I've got a feeling that's going to have something to do with this, uh... Some, and I, a feeling this is going to have something to do with those explosions we heard about. Let's see. Hello? Dr. Morales, did, uh, you just call me? Eddings? Ed. Yeah, it's me. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Now? It's like 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, now. On a Sunday. Yeah, so? Um, well, let's ignore that Don't question. Don't worry about it. What yeah. do you need my help with? Direct them to report as usual, I see. First, I need you to confirm something. Okay. Did you finish those equations I gave you on Friday? Yes, I did. Yeah, just last night. As it happens. Good. Do you have the results? I do. So what, do I just drag them? Uh, hold on a sec. Wait, what just happened? Did I just you hang up? There? Yeah. Do you have those yeah, I do. How do I? Oh, maybe I drag them into that box at the top. Is that what I do? Got them right here. Yeah, there we go. How close what are they? Spot on. There's definitely an inverse relationship between attraction and proximity. Doctor Morales, you still with me? Is he? It's oh, he is still here. Okay, good. And wait until you see my proof. You were right all along. This is a vindication of. I'm going to destroy them. Them? My research, the data, the results, and destroying it all. But resonance. Destroying it Mr. all. Life's work. You can't just. What's he done? He's made a serious it. mistake, it's hasn't he? No. And trust me, I much prefer my problems to be hypothesized, tested, and quantified. The, no, he does. It is math. Everything is. Everything. Potential for good. Is that's true? Yeah. Possibility of misuse. You can't deprive the world of such... Well... Someone's been following me, Eddie. Someone's been following him? And what have they been following him for, I wonder? Anything yet. I'll come in right now. I'm on my way. Oh, Wait so we're on our way to... Wherever that is. Probably should put some clothes on first, though, eh? I think that's probably a good idea. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got four... Screens. It looks to be at different times. So, what's the earliest? We want to go about this in the right way, don't we? That's the earliest, isn't it? That's what, 626 or something like that? That's 655. That's 730. That's 705. So we probably want to do it in order of time, I reckon. So we do this one, this one, that one and that one. So let's, assuming we get the choice to do that, let's do this one. He's coming. Gotta hide, gotta hide fast. Why don't we just... Or get away. So we're gonna lock a door. 
and hope that slows him down. Oh, teddy bear. Let's pick that up. I remember something. Okay. The bear's key. There. All done. Now you have the key to my treasure. Keep it safe, okay? Okay. So what what does that mean? We look at the bear. He wants to help, but he's not sure how. And someone's now banging on that door. Wait, what? What can I look at the bear? What's I've just seen your bear. Wait. Somewhere in on his tag. One six five or is that five nine one? I can't really tell. Oh, it'll be five nine one because we're looking at it upside down. What is that? That bear just blinked. I'm really confused. Okay, so let's look at that chest. A lock on the chest. Ah, that's a combination. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, nine, one. Open the chest. I think I got it. It's my treasure. I remember. Oh, we've got to go to this again. LTM. And what are we looking at there? Uncle Javi's gift. A million dollars. And what is that at the door? Pesos. I put one in this jar every pesos? It's not a lot, but if you save them, maybe someday they can help you when you need it. Uncle Javi, don't go away again. Don't go away again. I think we've got to probably hide. Maybe I could hide under there. Maybe you can. Oh, we've got like a vent? What's up with this vent? It's no use, I can't move it. We have 365 pesos in our inventory. Single peso, maybe we can use it as like a screwdriver. On this vent. Ah, oh, I keep going, sorry, I keep going outside the... Going outside the screen. I think it's loose enough to escape. And what's this? Some kind of weird monster? No, he's here. Who's here? What is this? Please open. I, huh? She's been sucked in. Haha. -ha. Okay. It was a nightmare, obviously. Because, I mean, that teddy bear was blinking at us. So, okay, that one's done. She didn't seem very happy, but it's done. So, let's try this one at 6.55. 6.55. Next stop. Next stop, Imperiali Plaza. Oh, it told us, didn't it? It told us where the next stop was, so that's good. Stand clear of the doors. Or else. Or else what? I don't know. What's going on? So a girl gets on the train. Takes a seat. Oh, she dropped doors something. Stand clear of the doors. Okay. I'm not standing anywhere near the doors. So this must be a different... So his name's Ed. It's now or never. Talk to her. Well, you found a coin that you can give her if you want. Hmm. Let's talk to... Talk to her. Uh... Let's try this. She's really busy. Uh, well, excuse me, I'm not finished. Reading anything interest? I don't want to be rude, but I've got to read these reports for work. She doesn't want to be rude. Sorry. Well, let's just keep trying to talk to her before we try and 
Pick up line. What's a nice Seriously, God. <laughs> Seriously, God. Look, mister. In case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of busy. She's right busy. Now, so you could just Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Well, we should probably give her her coin back. Um, excuse me. Look, mister. In case you, you dropped noticed, this I'm coin kind of busy right now, so if you could just Oh, it's just that did you drop this? <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. You just sidled that that's that was creepy. Thank you so much. I can't believe I dropped it. If you the way he moved up, down I... that it's down that bench was quite creepy. Coin, I take it. You could say that. Look, you're sorry right. for ignoring you earlier, by the way. And for snapping at you for that matter. No, I deserved it. I was being really annoying, after all. Well, it's just You were a little, yeah. I've run into a lot of creeps on the subway and Yeah, oh, I, I understand. It's special then, the coin? Yes. I guess it's kind of my lucky It is, song. but it's none of your business. I've been out of trouble for almost 20 years, so I guess that's something. I actually don't. You don't? Don't believe in luck. Well, see, the universe is pretty much governed by laws, right? Take flipping a coin, for example. If you hit heads five times in a row, you might feel pretty lucky. Yeah, but then you're gonna hit tails. Likely as any other possible outcome. Our brains are trained. Oh, that's not gonna. That's not gonna excite her. Believing in the coin's inherent luck might make you more receptive, or equally likely, having the coin gives you extra confidence, which feels like luck. Possibly. Either way, what does it matter? I'm rambling. Yes, you are. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is silly and superstitious, but I don't understand why ascribing meaning to things is so wrong. I That's a good, good question. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a mathematician. Better with numbers than with people. And enough yeah. with numbers, and they tend to see everything as an equation. I can imagine. Nothing. Anyway, I, I hope I didn't upset you or anything like that. Like I said, I'm mm. bad with people. Sorry. Nothing emotionally uh, <laughs> scarring there at all. You kept a coin for that long? Yeah, I guess I just got kind of attached to it. Glue, glue will do that. I lost a car once. You lost a car. How does one lose a car? Well, parks it in the wrong place and then... That coin wouldn't last a week in my pocket. Better give it, Especially just as well, you give it back to her then. Fiddling with it like you do. I do that? Oh, uh, what I meant was, you know, I see you on the You have it in your hands. See, he's a creep. You were right. You were right not to talk to him. Though I do fiddle with it, don't I? Yeah. Well, I would fiddles it with it. If you hadn't picked it up for me. I guess I really yeah, yeah good man. Hey, don't get me started on luck again. No. Right. <laughs> luck. I'm glad I could help. Let's talk about luck. Where'd you get the coin? Well, her uncle. We know this because. Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. I mean, you're probably looking for some way to escape this conversation, <laughs> and here I am asking for some questions. No, I appreciate the conversation. Oh, okay, but she didn't. She didn't want the conversation initially. That's fair. What's this all about? That's your stop coming up, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you yeah. Said you weren't a stalker. He is. I'm not. I just noticed. Yes, I'm off the next stop. Okay. Off to the hospital we go. Or she goes at least. Guess I'll see you around. Guess so. No problem. See you around. As she says. Anna. Nice to meet you. So that's Ed and Anna. Anna being the girl we saw a minute ago who was having a nightmare. No. Stand clear of the doors. Okay. And what's happening now? That went well. About as well as can be expected. You and, me now. and now all we've got is a tramp. Just Ed and a tramp. Oh, we got like a... What's that? Power outage. Oh, good. What's going down? Some sort of power surge? 
Not good. Train stopping. I can't. Okay. What have we got here? Power surge. Thank God for emergency brakes and lights. Maybe so. So this has been we're going to have to... How are we going to get out? Wait, there's something there. A pole. It's fairly solid. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it out. Okay. Uh, anything else? I don't think that pole's going to come out either somehow. Oh wait, it's like broken at the top. Yeah, there's a loose bar at the top. Maybe we can get that one out. Okay, that might come in handy. It might. Especially as we can't get the subway doors open ourselves. But we've made a little bit of a gap. Maybe with that gap we can pry the doors open. Oh, there we go. I guess we walk hey. out into hey. the darkness. I'd just leave him there. I'm sure the train will get going again eventually. Here goes nothing. Just dive out into the tunnel. Okay, so we've cleared the second part of, uh, of that. Uh, so the next one, I guess, would be the one at 7.05 a.m. Nope. Dawn, what are we doing now? City. Where are we now? Who are we now? The sun's beams glide between the buildings like a man's strong fingers through a dame's hair. The sight made me realize just how. Oh, good! It's like a detective from a 1950s movie. Actually, I might be being a little generous with the the time frame there. To the computer chip factory uptown, had named his post office as a contact point for his buyer. Normally, I'd say that kind of hard-boiled detective. But the chief's dogged insistence that I drop this case pretty much guaranteed I was going to follow it through. Why did she want me off this case so bad? Well, I don't Could know. Could the chief have some connection to this criminal organization? I had a lot of questions, and my gut was telling me exactly two things. One, that I was hungry. Well, you should get and some two, foods. That it was Reggie's turn to go get And you should really get someone to look at that car. Uh, no, I got us those sandwiches a couple hours ago. Remember? Wait, you're saying this out loud? But you didn't get the donuts. He's saying this out loud, like in conversation. So, how did you get the chief to sign off on this stakeout? Oh, right. About that. If anyone asks, we were patrolling the neighborhood around the arsenal, right? Oh, I'm okay. not gonna get reprimanded for this, Probably. You Relax. probably are. Sir! Oh, someone... Someone's just come out. Who's this guy? So who are we playing as here? What are you doing? That guy came from the alley. We don't have visibility. Don't have down visibility. There, which means when he leaves, we're gonna lose him. Oh, okay. I've got to get us a better line of sight. He's gotta get a better How line of sight. That without them seeing you. Well I don't know. He's I'll probably not gonna manage it very right. well, I wouldn't this have thought. Is against regulations. You're out of the military now, Reg. This is police work. Police work. Sometimes you gotta pick which orders you're gonna follow. And other times you gotta make your own orders. Detective Sounds right. Bennett. Going radio silent. Be <laughs> careful. Yeah, I'll be careful. Don't you worry. We'll be careful. Oh, is there some trash here? Nothing useful in the trash. Let's take a look. Trash all over the alley based on the smell. We don't want to be... Oh, there's some bricks though. Maybe we can take a brick. Yeah, he definitely wanted a brick. Okay. What have we got here? Let's just look around. We've got a few items in there. Oh, this car has been like totally stripped of. Oh, we can we can look at the car mirror. Oh, it's not going to break off in my hands. I need to apply a bit more force. Give me that piece of brick. Okay, I get it. I get what you're saying. Guess no one will notice one more little ding. I hope the owner of this has insurance. Well. You know, I've got a feeling it might be a little bit beyond that by now. And what do we get in our inventory now? We got uh, the car mirror. Can we break it maybe and get... So now we've got a shard of the mirror. 
which I guess is going to be useful eventually. Let's see what else we got. A newspaper vendor. It's a weird looking little thing. Online news site The Abbott Post claims to have evidence of Vice President Bruckman's struggle with mental illness. Does it? Just 3.25 to read more rumours and gossip. Reprinting a blog, newspapers are trying harder and harder to stay relevant. Well, you know. You gotta do that work. Seems to want the pieces, thin pieces of plastic, not thick pieces of leather. So I probably need to open my wallet then. Just so, oh, there we go, we got a credit card. I guess that's what it wants. I guess we're going to buy ourselves a new computer. 325 such a rip-off. You're still paying it though, aren't you? You're still paying it. Okay, so we got a newspaper. I guess if we sit on this bench... We can probably uh, look like we're reading a newspaper while looking in a mirror. And then I guess we just read it. And then that looks like we're reading a newspaper while we're actually watching the alleyway behind us. Now we just wait for the fish. Oh, here he comes. Uh, I would say that that's pretty obvious. He's waiting for a bus, supposedly. But I'm assuming that this bus stop's like never used. Could be wrong. He's still watching us. So he goes to number nine. And he knocked like six times. I hope you're not planning on going in there. Gotcha. That was easy enough then, wasn't it? Until the guy pops out of another doorway with what a gun or something. That? that was what? Done. By breaking orders? What orders? How many times do I have to explain to you? This isn't the military, Reggie. No. It's police work. Sometimes you have to make hard... Yeah, but sometimes... Oh, we seem to have been... Interrupted. Oh, and all the power's going out. Selfish networks. <laughs> what the hell was that? It that was like a power cat. Out. Blackout. Can we look at it? No, we can't. Oh, power's back on. Just clicks back on like that. And like nothing ever happens. All's well that ends well. I guess. Yeah, well, anyway, I hope you could you say that. Attention from up there. To you, breaking regulations. Oh, well, whatever. To me, adjusting the operations parameter yeah. based on changes in the field. Permission to speak freely, Detective Bennett. Well, go on then. Not the military. What I saw was unnecessary, irresponsible, and hasty. We could have redeployed tomorrow with a better vantage on the And it could have been too late tomorrow. These guys could have moved on by tomorrow. Yeah. Sometimes you have to call an audible. Besides, I yeah. got what we needed. All's well that ends well. That kind of ends justify the means philosophy. Never cut it in the military. But you're not in the military. Welcome to the police force, detective. Any more? This is Bennett. Yeah. You notice that citywide blackout we just had? I Looks certainly like did. Again now. Yeah, and so were the phones. Got little mini emergencies all over. Yeah, what a surprise! Calling in all available officers to help out. What can we do? There's a subway car stuck near Humphrey Street Station, and we're getting reports of a fire over at. We've got a couple of so things we need to do then. They're deployed all over the city right now. We're trying to direct them where it's needed. A couple needed. of different areas we need to, to check out Juno and the other take on. on Humphrey Street. Radio back if additional emergency services are required. A sure thing. Thanks. Okay. Reg, you get the subway. I'll check out the fire at the lab. I'm splitting yes, up. Sir. Good plan. That guy looks like he'd be a bit of a pain, to be honest. So I guess that's me, maybe? Okay, and now 7.30. Who's this? Okay, I've got to get this right. I better check my notes on my phone. Pretty sure, why not? We've got a password cracker. What are they looking for? Uh, let's read our emails first, actually. Uh, I don't care what you owe what you owe this. A Batra guy. A story advocating the sacrifice of privacy in exchange for security is not exactly in line with our site's philosophy. You've built a reputation here, why squander it? I've done some poking around for info on A Batra and all I can find is something called Antivorta. We should check that out before doing anything. Okay. How do we go back? I guess we just do that. 
Oh, is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same story. Why was it up there? Okay, this is from A. Batra. Congratulations on your big story, Mr. Abbott. You're making headlines. You have the ear of the people. Now that I've helped you, it's your turn to help me. I look forward to reading the article we discussed very soon. Okay, well, those are just emails. I think it was his notes that he wanted us to read. The, the memos, should I say. Uh, what have we got? Goals. X. Delay the secretary's replacement. X. Borrow maintenance uniform. So we've done these two items. Poses mainframe repairman. Okay, we've done that. And get rid of secretary. Okay, so that's what we've got to do. And Anne Vorta, it said. Secretive medical program office on 7th floor of Aventine City General Hospital. Large mainframe computer. Restricted access. Receptionist leaves at 7.30 sharp. Somehow connected to a Batra. Okay, I guess that's all we're looking at there. Now, what's this? We've got a clock. According to the clock, it's just a couple of minutes after 7.30 in the morning. Why would the person go home at 7.30 in the morning? Is Does she work on the... Uh, apparently we can take the clock, or we can take the time, I guess. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. So, if we want to ask people about things... We just I'm, uh, can drag that the thing to them. That's interesting. Well, it does. Oh, well, I was told to run some diagnostics. What with the citywide power outage and all. In that case, I'm sure you know what to do. Yeah? Do you think so? Hi. Welcome to the end. Please state your business. State your business. Uh... You look like you're in the middle of something important. I'm just writing a strongly worded email to my boss, who just asked me for his password for the seven time. Oh, why? Wow. Your boss I'm forgets his password all the time. Well, I do not think you could just give him the answer. Like I never said I actually intended on well, yeah, okay. It's a therapy exercise. That's fair. Just as long as you don't accidentally hit, you know, it send to all. Trust me, it's much better than six months of anger management. I can imagine. Take your word for it. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Right, let's, uh... Say, would you happen to know what time it is? <laughs> sure, let me check. Know what time it is. Crap, 7.30 already? Yeah. Look, sir, my shift's over and I gotta get going. Well, where's your replacement? I don't know where the next girl is, but she should be here. No, anyway. she's not gonna be here any minute, is she? Something tells me she's gonna I'm be delayed. I'm to lock the door if I'm not here, but... Are you gonna be okay in here alone? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Good. Just no keep worries. Eye on the box for me, and don't let anyone touch it, okay? The box. No matter who they say they are. Absolutely, I agree yeah. with you 100%. You carry on and leave, and I'm going to just uh, access your computer that you've stupidly left with a login on it. And we had a password cracker, didn't we not? Yes, we did. Where do we... Can we use it? We just drag it in there. Incorrect login or password. Well, obviously. Oh no. I've forgotten what that login was. D can I... Like, if I do that, will it be on that again? Oh no. I forgot the login. Was it E. Walters? I think that's what it was. How do we crack the password? Oh, hang on. Run pass crack exe check in username. Username E. Walters is valid. Cracking the password. There we go. Password is P A S S W O R D 1. I bet you it's password 1. I bet you it's password 1. Like, almost guarantee it's password 1. Oh, it's not even, it's just password. Brilliant. I could have guessed that. Okay, so if we press enter now. I uh, run a bit late. What's my username? Approve visitor list, etc. What's my username? Hey, could you email me my Antivorta login and password? I need to send it to someone and can't remember. Send it right away, spelt with a W. He's a doctor, and he spells right as in correct, with a W. That's just silly. 
Uh, so the username of the boss, which by the way is eGoldberg, can you email me my, my login and password? Should they know what your login is? Okay, you know what? Okay, go back to it. It was... Wait a minute, I've forgotten already. Well, that was password, we know what that is. What's my username? What's my username? E. Goldberg. What a surprise. Uh, log you out. Okay, so now again, if we... Presumably if we use the cracker on there, we'll find out what his password is. I might have to go back to hers. I wonder about... What's that? Baseball. I guess his password's baseball. Uh, Antiparty tech support. Dr. Goldberg, this is Mitch Down in tech support. How's your wife Pamela? I say we're having some issues with your anti Vorta login. That would have made things a lot easier. Could you send us your login and password ASAP? Uh, here we have a matter of great importance, spelt wrongly. Dear Dr. Goldberg, I thank you for answering my prayers. Well, for answering my prayers, I guess. Finally, I can reclaim my late father's fortune. In return for helping me transfer the funds to America, I will give you $2 million. Oh, Nigerian prince again. Well, well, maybe not Nigerian, could be from anywhere else. How quickly can you wire me the money for the fund transfer? If we don't do it soon, the men who killed my father may stop me. Please send me your bank account number and wire me the funds immediately. I wonder if he fell for that. And then, how's your, how's your girth? You've tried our 100% effective lengthening pills and you're undoubtedly running out of ruler. Why are you concerned with your girth? Studies show the ladies prefer something robust. A nice strong coffee. With our new pill, the Everwide, you'll be putting your money where her mouth is. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, was, were we supposed to be looking at something useful in his details? Because there actually is nothing useful. Let's meet. Miss Single 210. I'll see you there. I'm literally shaking right now. All that coffee, I'm telling you. Uh, I had a great time during our chat too. You're so funny. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I really like you, Steve. And I think we should meet. Is Steve? Who's Steve and Amy? Wait, wait. Who's Steve? His first initials E. It's Eric. Who's Steve? Do Steve. As long as you have to wear tights and a cape, I am the one feeling attracted. These are a bit weird. Steve, race car driver. That's impressive. Nice to meet you, race car Steve. The first time we're on these... Excuse me one sec. There's a bit of a noise in the background. Uh, he's a race car driver. No, he's not. He's a doctor. She works as a detective for the Aventine Police Department. Okay, well, I'm really a little confused there, to be quite honest. I'm going to go back to hers, because I think we want to find out who the... Does the tab button work? Oh, it does. That's great. Uh, approved user list for this is Sunday. We know it's Sunday because we were told it was Sunday at the beginning. Today's list of approved terminal users are Dr. Allen, Dr. Schumacher, <coughs> Congressman Lemon, Dr. Goldberg. I would assume Dr. Goldberg's always allowed. Anyone else att attempting to access the terminal should be reported immediately. Thank you. Okay, well, we've done what needs to be done there. Let's see what else we can see. Okay, it's a trash can, yeah. Just an empty pop can. Let's take that. You never know when you might need it. What else have we got? Might find a use for this. Oh, there's a drawer in the wall. Drawer full of cotton swabs. I guess couldn't hurt to have some around. We'll have some cotton swabs too. Uh, now we want to use this terminal. Let's see what we've got to work with here. Enter username. I guess it's E. Goldberg. Enter password. Which is baseball. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, no, it's different. It's different. Uh, 
think you're supposed to do and then I think so we want to get help I guess we want to reset his password. I think that would be probably the best option, wouldn't it? And it was... Password set to email address associated with username Eregol. Now we have to leave. We'll have to go back on here. And log in as E Goldberg with the password baseball. Password reset. See, there we go. Uh, you requested a password reset from the Antivirus system. Your password is K7UA. Please delete this email. I could delete this email. Can I delete the email? No. So it's K7UA. Well, now we know we should be able to just use this terminal again. K7UA. I have a habit of forgetting these things, so. K7UA. Insert a DNA sample for verification. Well, now we're in trouble. Uh, let's just try, though, just out of interest. Empty pop can. I wonder if it might have been him that was drinking it. And then if we use that can swab, where do we insert the, oh, it must be in that little bit at the side. Oh, welcome back, E. Goldberg. Enter command. Uh, okay. Let me try. Okay. Search database by sample. Okay, and then we want to insert this sample again, I guess. Given that we only had one sample. Eric Goldberg, 2287-9346, and we've got an entire DNA sequence there. That's interesting. So let's just do that again. We do three, I'm just trying to think. Uh, we're also gonna go into our inventory, combine that with my phone. Go on then. Now we have a phone swab. I wonder if this knows, if this like has everybody's DNA sample, Raymond Abbott. He ha it, so it has people's DNA code in the system without their permission, it would appear. Uh, we've got a code of some kind. I'm wondering if that's going to matter. Um, I might need to find something to write it down on, just in case. I have a pen. The worst thing about that is then you have to find a pen, you know? I could do it on my computer, but then it would just mean interrupting the game more. I did have a pen. This is why you should always be prepared, guys. Always be prepared. Never was a boy scout. Wouldn't have worked out. Okay, uh. Pen, 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 pen. Paper, paper, paper. I feel like. Oh, I've got a notepad, though. I did have a notepad close to hand. We'll just write it down just in case we need it. So that FTTN number seven oh seven nine nine two would help if the pen was able to write. But never mind. And is that AO? Let's go. Four three four four. It might not be important, but I'm gonna write it down anyway. You know, sometimes you get the feeling that these things might be useful. Always remember your pen. Okay, so uh, there's not really much we can do at that. 
I think that's pretty much it, isn't it? We've got a filing cabinet. Hundreds of folders, each with a serial number. Which folder should I look at? Oh, yeah, see? Just as well I took that reference, because... I'm assuming... Don't see any folder with that label. I'm going to check the next one then. Which folder should we look at? Same again. Don't see any folder here with that label. What about the next one? Again. That is AO. It was AO, wasn't it? Not AD. Don't see any folder here with that in the label. I've only got one more drawer. And if not, maybe I've put the wrong thing in. Mind you, it's not that difficult to just do it again. No. Okay. Let me go back to that terminal. Do we have to log in all over again? Because I've forgotten the. Oh no, I haven't. Okay, no. Uh, so, what? Oh, it would help if I went forward slash, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm going to insert a DNA sample again. I want to insert raise swab. And then I'll get that number again. I want to make sure that was. That's an AQ. That's a Q. I'm having a bad time reading today. That's a Q. So it's no wonder we got it wrong, because it was the letter Q. So now that, oh, whoops. now that we know that, we should be able to find the details we need. AQ. No folder in here with that on the label. Well, we've got three more drawers to check. AQ four three four four. Oh wait, I didn't. Must I didn't put it in right. I'm gonna have to do that again because I put, didn't put that in right. I'm not taking any chances. We need to make sure we're doing it right first time. Next drawer, folder, again, AQ, no folder in here with that on the label, and what about the bottom drawer, I'm assuming that's what I'm supposed to put in, I mean I don't actually know, don't see any folder in here with that on the label, okay. AA001 to FR345. Oh, it's just AO. FR346. Well, it must be there then. AQ434. Wait. So it says AA001. Oh, okay, so there's no. We don't use the. Well, in that case, it's AQ4344. Don't see any folder with that on the label. Well, I'm confused now. What did that say? This is starting from AA001. FR346. ME902. TB230. So, wait a minute. Go back to that. That's weird. I don't want to spend all evening doing this one thing. I wonder. There we go, Raymond Abbott. Surely AQ4344. 
Is it is it mine that I'm supposed to be looking at, or is it? Wait, no, go back. I wonder if it's mine I'm supposed to be looking at, or if it's the doctor's I'm supposed to be looking at. That might be the mistake I'm making. Just remind me. PF nine three four six. Let's try that. PF9346. There. So, PF9346. Don't see any folder here with that label. Surely, maybe it's just... No, okay, I'm confused. What about if we just, can we just open it and, I don't really get, I've forgotten what the number is already, but nothing seems to, I feel like I've missed something, wait a minute, did I take note of those things maybe, just the clock. DNA database. Let's have a look at this. Everyone in the city has their DNA on file at the Antiverta office without their knowledge or consent. So that's AQ4344. This is over. I'm going to win a Pulitzer for sure. Okay, but why can't I... Why can't I access the file? <coughs> no folder with that on the label. So I don't I don't understand. I wonder can we drag that into it? No. I don't see a folder with that in the label. I feel like we're just not getting anywhere. Let me try something else. Because what we want to do is look for... We're not looking for me, I've just realised. We're looking for... Uh, Batra, aren't we? A Batra. Result found one A Batra. It's LX327. I feel like that's what we were supposed to do. LX327, so that's going to be probably in this one. LX327. I think this is it. There we go, that's what I was doing wrong the whole time. Uh, the 11 Foundation, PO Box 213 in Aventine. A Batra on 3490909. And we'll find out what the Anti Vorta project does. Okay, so Antivorta is some sort of secret DNA database. I'm not sure what its purpose is, but I've got a lead on someone who does. Who does what? That, that didn't make sense in the context of that sentence. Maybe someone who can. Hmm. I better not push my luck any further. Time to make my exit before the next secretary arrives. It's probably a good plan. Okay, so we've cleared all these four. Now, what happens next? Do we... Okay. Looks like we, we don't... We're not picking somebody at the moment. So, okay. Dad, look! Isn't that Juno Labs? Oh, God, it looks like it. No, I don't know. I mean... They're saying it looks like it. Resonance. That's the name of the game. It only took an hour for it to tell us. Actually, it didn't. It did do it. It did say it at the beginning, didn't it? By Vince Twelve. Twelve Studios makes sense. One of those images was like a one-fingered man doing a face palm. Uh, okay, well, I don't know what's going on there, but there's a guy over here. We're going to talk to him. 
Um, excuse me? What? See what Who's he's got there? to see. What do you want? What do I want? I want you to tell me what happened. Could you tell me what happens to the building? I sure could, little man. It was a so tell me then. Morning, just like any other. Yeah, it's still Sunday. That's what I thought it'd be. I figured the most excitement I'd have today Let's not make it going home and too again. odd a story. She knows how to warm an old man's heart. I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to know that. Yeah, she's really something. I'll let him talk. Oh, did I tell you I used to be in showbiz? Did you? Why are you a janitor now? I was going to be one of the backup dancers in Funny Girl back in 68. Were you? Of course, then my mother had to have surgery, so I had to stay home. And that sounds likely, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, you were just yeah, talking. So I come into work as usual. Probably nonsense. Uh, I'm in the chem lab, mopping up the floors, dancing the cha-cha-cha. I'm nowhere near as agile as I used to be when I was younger, you see, but I... Oh, get, get on with it. I'm not going to interrupt him. I'm going to let him talk. Because why not? Uh, they just don't shake themselves the way they used to. Do they not? Oh, I'm okay. sure. Why, back when I was just a spring chicken, Look, can, can you just tell me what's going on? For my moves. Oh, Saul, what a dreamboat they'd say. Because <laughs> I never met one I liked. Did they say that? Much. Okay. But such is life. Such indeed oh, is dear, life, I'm as they say. Track again. I'm sorry. I was at the part where I was mopping, right? That's when I start to feel this little tingly feeling in my head. Then all mm -hmm. the lights go out and there's this stinging, stinging heat. Vibration. Vibration. Not like an earthquake or nothing. More like when those young hoodlums drive by my place at 3 a.m. blasting their hippity hoppity music. Hippity hoppity music. Love it. We're going to let him keep talking, but. I don't even want to call it music. It all sounds like womp, womp, womp to me. That sounds like dubstep. Is it dubstep? My brains out, you know? Is that dubstep? Rock and roll stuff. Womp, womp, womp. Enough. Anyhow, at the lab, it was uh, just like that. Except there wasn't any sound. Just silence. Just silence. So, so it's not really like, like that at all, the then? The loose. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's just great, Saul. You're gonna die you can't say it's like something and then say it's not like it. Okay, yeah, okay. I wish you had, but okay, let's keep and talking. My life starts to flash by. First, I'm a baby. Then a schoolboy. Then a singer and dancer traveling all over the world meeting Barbara. Uh -huh. Or at least I would have if Mother didn't have to get so sick and everything. So you, All the way up yeah. to this very moment in time. Yeah, it's a bit and of a then, weird life, isn't just it? Just when I think the end is near, I see the window right there, beckoning suggestively, showing me the If the window was safety. beckoning suggestively, oh, I'm no wondering what you were taking so while you were at work. Ranch and smash it and climb right on out. Good on you. It's a bit of a fall, so now my ankle's all messed up. That's sad. That's my story. And I'm sad for you. I'm sticking to it. Great. Just great. Saul's story. Quite a story you have. All I need is someone... Preferably someone else. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Thanks very much, Saul. I'll be right back. I told you I can't go anywhere because of my anger. Oh, that's right. Yeah. What shame. Okay, we're gonna have a look at this. Oh, there's. Let's take a look at the entrance. Oh yeah. Well, okay. Well, let's walk there then. Could you not walk there when I clicked on it? Would that not have been better? There's no way in with that huge slab of rock in the way. I don't think I'm getting in until I find a way to move it. Concrete slab. Obviously, we're not moving that by hand. Did he actually just try that? Oh, that's. I'm not really the muscle bound type. I'm not even sure someone like that would be able to really help. What else have we got? Anything else useful? Broken window. No, I definitely can't reach it by myself. I need to ask someone to boost me up. Oh, yeah, let's ask the guy that's got a. Broken ankle, I'm sure he'll be able to help us very easily. I think that's the, the only way we're going to manage to actually get where we're going, though. So let's walk back over to this guy. And let's just ask him about the broken window. Um, excuse me? Yeah. I think that broken window is the only way in. I need to get into the building now, and I can't climb up by myself. Well, I can't even get up. I just need a boost. Can't you just try? Sorry, son, but I think my ankle's okay, broken. Okay, so he's I'm not, not going, going anywhere, anywhere. He's not going to help me in. Maybe I can help you with that. Oh, well, there's someone else there, though. ACPD. Something the matter here, gentlemen? No, not really. I need to get into the lab immediately. Yeah. Dr. Morales is probably still in there, and... Hey, don't look at old Saul. 
I told you I broke my ankle getting out of the building, didn't I? This yeah, you did. Morales. Is he a co-worker of yours? Is he not like a boss? My boss. Yeah. Look, he's in the building. He's hurt. And you know this for sure. You've seen him. He was on the well, phone with no, me. But he... Well, I'm going to need Called to go me from the lab. Situation. Can't you just call for an ambulance or something? Not unless we know for sure that we need one. Well, that guy's got a broken ankle. Run with emergencies right now no. Kind of a blackout. So, is your Don't need an ambulance. Are spread pretty thin. Hey, now, what about my ankle? I'll drive you to the hospital after I check things out inside. Why don't you just right, get an ambulance? Sir. Eddings. Call me Ed. Okay, Mr. Eddings. Ed. Let's take a quick look inside, and once I can confirm that an ambulance is needed, I'll call for one. Okay, so we have to get inside. Uh, let's talk to him. I guess we need to get him to come with us. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Uh, any ideas? What do you think we should do next? Get Seems inside. Like got two options. The door or the no, we've got one option. Let's pick one. The window. That's the only option we actually have. Mr. Uh, yeah. I can switch to another character by clicking on their portrait up there. Uh, Would you, uh, for now, let's get him to follow us. All right. Okay, so let's go over here to the entrance again. I guess. Okay, so... We'll tell him Detective that... Bennett, could you try giving that boulder a push? I'm on it. Do we really think that he's going to be able to move that? No, I don't think he can. But if I join in, maybe we can both do it. Was two people enough? Oh. Whoa. It rolled over. Now what I want to do is I want to speak to him. Boost Detective, me in the broken would you window. Try to boost me up to that window. I might be able to get to Dr. Morales. All right, but if you see any sign of danger, you come straight back. Sure. I okay. The glass. I will be very careful of the glass, yeah. As careful as I can be. What have we got here? Oh, we've got some flickering. And we don't want to go in there. I don't think we want to go in there. Oh my, there's a fire now. Uh, I hope I'm not... What's going on? The sprinkler system didn't work. Okay. I guess we're not going in there. And there's a pool of water just in front of it. Can we turn this valve? No, can't turn it with his hands. He needs to find a wrench. What we will do is just drag that into our thing there. So we've got our memory of it. We've got a door. I don't think we want to go in the server room. Oh, there's a maintenance room. And it's locked. Okay, well, I guess we're going to drag that in there as well. Find a way to get into the maintenance room, but that'll allow us to talk to somebody about it. What have we got here? A sketch? Wait a second. I knew it. It's a no smoking sign. He's not covering it back up. Someone was hiding the no smoking sign. Okay, so we're going to have to go back outside. I need to ask Saul about how to get into the maintenance room. No, I couldn't get. I saw a fire start. I radioed in for fire support, but all the drugs they're calling in everybody. They calling everybody they got through the fire support. That's not. There's a down power cable causing all kinds of yeah. trouble in the main hallway. The sprinkler system is not working. Yeah. And some leaking water shorted out a security panel and shut the emergency door. Yeah. We've got to get to Dr. Morales as soon as possible. He's hurt. How do you know? Look, relax. You haven't even seen him. You find a way to get me through that window. Can't say he's hurt. That hallway together. If you don't know. Time, buddy, standing here considering different scenarios isn't going to get us to him. The only time for worrying is when you have no more options. Well, there's not a lot of options available right at the second. All right. But let's go talk to the janitor. Be a or a or... Well, first of all, I need to go and speak to this guy. Because he needs to tell me what I can do to fix this. Um, excuse me? I hope he's not going to talk forever. Valve in the lab doesn't have a handle. Oh, that? Yeah. yeah, I noticed Oh, you noticed too. it? Did you not I think to fix it? No. I just to turn it on and off. I keep it in the maintenance closet. Okay, that's great. 
How do I get into the maintenance closet? Um, excuse me? Yeah. You wouldn't be able to unlock the maintenance closet for me, would you? Uh, tell you what, Sonny, why don't you just take my keys? That would be great. Yeah, if you yourself. give me the keys, that would be perfect. Uh, but also... I wonder... Um, excuse me? Yeah, one if more I excuse me. Correctly, you said you used your wrench to break the window before you jumped out. Yeah, so do you have it? Absolutely sure you didn't take it outside with you? Ah, fancy that. It was in my pocket all this time. Sorry about Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. That would have been interesting, wouldn't it? I'd have gone in and then I'd have realised that you didn't actually help me in the slightest. Strange old man. So never mind. We want to get back inside now. We want to get back inside now. Detective, no problem. Back inside we go. Okay, so let's try using that wrench now that we've got it on the valve. There's an arrow saying to turn it to the left. Nope, don't have the strength to turn it. Okay, maybe there's something inside the maintenance closet that will help us. It worked. Well, obviously it's a key. What? Nice. I'm going to need your help up. Let's get going. Let's get inside. Guess we'll climb up using the ladder. Then we're inside. Oh, I need to go back out and tell him to follow, don't I? Which is stupid. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You can follow me again. With me? All right. Now you'll come. Okay, so he's here. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Oh, I found some duct tape. Yeah, it could come in handy for tying somebody up. I mean, uh, for various reasons, of course. <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to give him the wrench. Cause I think he's probably strong enough to actually use it. Mister, uh, yeah, here, take this. Sure thing. So he can have that. I'm going to. Um, I think I'm going to open up the ventilation if I can with the old screwdriver. And we're gonna go inside. I think Yeah. I can find a way to repair that leak. Alright, be careful. We're gonna get inside and find a way to take care of the leak. What is this? Is this the leak? I guess if we duct tape it that'll help. We're in a ventilation duct and we're using not even duct tape can help. Well, what will then? Well, we're going to switch over to our pal. How do we switch over to him then? I said to do it inside some kind of menu, but... Ah, here we go. So now if I use him... I guess use the wrench on that. Turn it to the left. No, won't turn anymore. Oh, maybe we turn it to the right then. Which is weird. Oh, I suppose maybe it was turned fully to the left. Okay, now I'd want to switch to him probably. Why did we go and... Why did we go in there if he was able to do that? Let's switch back over to him. What have we got here? Got a rusty pipe. Pipe is practically disintegrating. Who let it get this rusty? I guess if we take it then. Oh, and then maybe we can... If we can then use the pipe that I've got here, maybe we can fix the... 
Just about the same length. Here goes nothing. It's not very sturdy, but at least it fits. I guess we'll make sure that it's not going to fall off. Maybe some duct tape can secure it in there long enough to put out the fire. It's not a permanent solution, but it is something. Okay, we're going to switch back over to our buddy here. And then I think we can probably... Where's the... There it is. Right, so now if we go back, we want the wrench. And we want to turn the valve back to the left. Is the water coming out of there? That it... And that should be it. The water isn't coming down. Come on down. We did it. We better figure out a way to get that electric cable out of the way. Okay. We better do. Probably the best way is to turn it off. There's a fuse box there, which I guess we're probably going to have to open with, I would say, a screwdriver. I'm assuming. No more water at the door, that's a good sign. Require some screws to be of much use, obviously. I wonder, does that let me save? We haven't checked, we haven't tested that, have we? Let's pop the fuse box open. Main hallway and entrance, that's what we want. Just turn that off then. Nice job. And that it's off. It, then. Yeah, we have a clear path to Dr. Morales' lab through the front door. Let's go quickly. Wait, Ed. If he's not, I mean, you have to be ready for it. Yeah, he could be dead. I'm okay. Let's just go. Tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm going to give Saul his keys back because I don't need those. We're going to go give Saul his keys back. Because I don't need his keys anymore. There you go, Saul. We're keeping the duct tape because um, the duct tape excuse me. Thanks for your You're welcome. is obviously quite useful. We'll take a walk back over there towards that step ladder. And we'll get back inside. Okay. Now we also... I think want to want to ask him to follow Sorry, me again. Yeah. Would you all right. follow me? There's another panel here. Let's see what it is. Hmm. We've opened this panel cover. Uh, we got some screws there. I'm gonna just. I feel like if there are screws on it, they probably need to be opened. Okay, so we've opened a panel. I'll turn the power off for a moment. There is a wire that's been like burned out. So we'll take that wire out. Uh, I think we want to. So that's. This pin feeds electricity to the grid. Better not touch it when it's live. That's a good plan. Now what have we got here? We've got other pins. These pins draw power from the grid. I think the entering combination to the keypad turns these pins on and off. Since the keypad isn't working, maybe I can wire the grid such that only certain pins are connected, passing the correct amount of power to the terminal pin. We've also got some indicators. Seems these lights indicate the power levels of the main pins at the top and bottom of the grid. If I can normalize the bottom pin, I think it will trigger the door opening mechanism. Power levels of the main pins. Yeah, so that's basically how that's working. Okay, so I think I understand. So what I need to do, if I can... No, I don't need to do that. Can I, like, get anything out of my inventory? It seems like... I can't get into my inventory and I don't have any of that. Well, where did that wire go that we took off? Could we not have used that wire? I mean, I'd have thought. Hmm. 
Let me just try something. Maybe. You can wrap wires around them. Yeah, I understand that. Can't do much with this without a wire. We had a wire. Why? Where did I get a wire from then? Did I make did I make a mistake somewhere? No, I don't think I did. Where did the wire we had go? We had a wire and now it's gone. Does he have it? No, he doesn't have the wire. Okay, have we just come across a mistake? Can we get any wires from here? That does nothing. So we can open this panel. All we have is indicator lights, some pins, and nothing else. So where did that wire go that we had? I thought we'd kept that. I'm really not sure what's happening now. I feel like maybe we've missed something. Did we leave that door open? Yeah, we did. Good. Nothing in the maintenance room. At all. Anything in the ashtray? I'd really rather not touch this. Why would there be an ashtray next to a no smoking sign? Does this door open? It's locked. Okay, so... I feel like I've... made some kind of mistake somewhere. Is there anything on the floor around about that? No. Can't do much to this without a wire. What does that do? Power's on. Don't fry yourself. So, I guess we have to connect some wire to this to do it the right way. The only trouble is, we don't have a wire. Can I take some of them? Oh, there we go. We've got a, we've got a wire now. So we wrap that wire around there. Oh, I get it. So what I want to do is just this. I think we messed that up. Let's start again. I think we messed that up. Okay, so we can use these loose wires to, first of all, well, that seemed to work for a moment. That seemed to work and now it doesn't. Can we, can we put that into our, no, because we can't actually get our thing to come up. I should probably turn it off. Or maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe if I then connect that loose wire. Yeah, that's not going to work. That did something for a moment, and now it appears we've got nothing again. I don't really understand. Can't do much without a wire. We, it was doing something a moment ago. Oh, hang on. Right, so if I click there, yeah, there we go, that seems to work now. And then we just click this one. I know that, but... Can I then... No, that doesn't do anything. Maybe I need to do it as like a continuous line, do I?
Oh yeah, there we go. I have to do it as a continuous line. Did that do it? I had to get to the terminal pin. That's it. And we did it. That's how we unlocked the thing. I don't know how it didn't work that out, but... The door's open. So let's go through. Let's just see if he's following me still. No, we'll just talk Excuse to him. Mm -hmm. Follow me. Would you, if you say. Let's go this way. Let's go see what's happening. The wire's away. We're happy enough. Where are we? So there's Dr. Morales' lab. Guess we'll go inside and see what's happening. Doctor! My God. Well, it doesn't seem to be here. Detective? Jesus, did you find him? No. Well, it looks like we found him. Dr. Morales! <laughs> are you okay? I... I don't... Where is he? Doctor. Time for that ambulance, Detective. Dispatch, this is Detective yeah. Bennett. Yeah, it's definitely time for the ambulance now. The lab immediately. There's a chair hanging from the now, ceiling. Let's get him out of there. Yeah, let's work out how we do that then. It's like a keypad there. Some worn out numbers. Okay. Three of those numbers are worn out. But we need to find something that tells us what the you know, what the actual code would be. Let's see. Let's look around. Let's see if we see anything in here that's useful. Well, there's a book down there. Can't pull it from under the heavy metal slab. I wonder if we can get him to lift the slab then. Detective, do you think you can lift up that there we go. piece of debris? I can try. Just enough for me to take that book. So now you can put it down. My back is killing me. Right, let's take a look at this. We picked up a book. This is Morales' journal, apparently. And we've got a code there. But there is a piece of paper that's loose there. Let's see what it is. Let's go out. I think first of all, so that's his journal. Yeah, all that does is it just sends us to his journal. Okay. That's fine. Right, what's this bit of paper? Uh, simulator control panel. Main body. Holographic display. Security keypad. Pi. So it's that 3141. I think. Yeah, 3141, one, because it's only four digits. So presumably it's the first four digits of pi. You put 141, etc. Oh, we've got him. Well, we've got something. Oh, that's a lot of blood. He's still alive. Where's that ambulance? Uh, not here yet. He only called it like 30 seconds ago. Stay with me. Come on, stay with me, Doc. No matter what happens, I will not let your discovery be misused. I promise. What are we doing now? What's the status? Legs and left forearm completely severed. Oh. BP very low. How's that happened? Cauterized at the time of the trauma, which kept. Cauterized. What severed the limbs? Unknown. Yeah, we're not really sure either. Some kind of portal, maybe? Wait, Anna? Ed? Yeah. Um, nah. That's who I am. Uncle Javi. My. Oh, it's her un uncle. Javi, what happened to you? My vault. My. Find it. Find My his vault. vault. 
I don't understand. What vault? Your uncle holds the key. Your uncle? I don't understand. But that's her uncle. Find my vault. Your uncle holds the key. Does that make sense? Stay with me. Dr. Morales. God. Well, that's interesting. That's her, like, beloved uncle, wasn't it? Who she got those coins from, those pesos. I just... Oh. I don't understand why this had to happen. We weren't exactly close, but he was still the only family I had left. Please forgive me. I'm mm. sorry. I'm not sure why how he thinks sorry? it's his fault. You didn't have anything to do with it. Well, I didn't listen to That's him. questionable, isn't it? He knew. He told me people were following him. That they were just didn't listen. Work, but I just assumed Most people don't listen everything. when they think people are being a bit nuts, though, don't they? Him, Damn it. If I just shut up and listen to him. Someone was following him and the explosion that killed him. Mm -hmm. Oh god. It wasn't an accident. Was, were, were they close? You weren't close? Well, we were back when I was a kid. All right. was my dad's brother. I remember him being over at our house a lot, visiting with my parents and me. But then my mom died and my dad a year later. And after mm. that, he pretty much stopped coming around. He never spoke to me again. Until today. Oh, no. Growing up, I always thought it was my fault. That I had made him mad at me. I thought he'd well, that wasn't me the case, was it? Death. Anna. It's alright. I know none of it was my fault. Well, she understands now. Before Uncle Javi died, he told me to find his vault. What was he talking about? His research. I guess. He kept a secret vault somewhere to protect it. He was working on something truly groundbreaking and powerful. Hmm. If the wrong people got a hold of that kind of information, it could be very bad. Where is this vault? Until today, I had no idea he Yeah, so he's kept it very secret. I process all this. I have something that might help. Yeah, maybe that maybe that can help you. It's his journal. He was always writing in it. It's locked. Like I said, he was paranoid. 1982. I don't know the combination, but I might be able to break it open. Hang on. Let me think about this for a second. Okay. Uh, there's a peso. What's this? Date of birth, April 22nd, 1982. I think we can assume that we know what the answer to that is. And it'll be the American way, won't it? So it'll be four twenty-two. Got it. It was my birthday. Yeah. Well, nineteen eighty-two was this? written on there. Oh, it's this a cipher. Book. It's all in some kind of some kinds. He was even more paranoid than I thought. Wait, there's a loose note here. It's not in code. They're after me. They're after me. me. Do, Do not, not trust, trust the police. The police. And look who appears just oh. as they say that. Detective, I didn't see you there. Well, no, he didn't, because he was in the elevator. Visible. It's my superpower. What? I'm joking, son. The door closes Listen, in the elevator, and then he's invisible. Yeah. Dry at this point. Are you sure you don't know anything about a vault that Morales may have kept? No. I'm Why would you be interested? Sure. All right, we'll get some guys to search his residence. Now, this explosion. Never mm. seen anything like this. It's his research. Tell me, Mr. Eddings, what exactly happened in that lab? I mean, I'm not really 100% sure, but... I'm in the dark as much as you are. Yeah. Dr. Morales kept me pretty insulated from his work, and only told me what he was working on when he had no... Yeah, all, that was all he was interested in, just I the mathematics. No idea that what he was working on was so dangerous. Hmm. I see. Mr. Eddings, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you some follow-up questions back at the station. I do course, mind, actually. Anything I can do to help. And Miss Castellanos, I know you've had a rough day. I have some questions for you too, but they can wait for tomorrow. Do you have a car or? No, I ride the subway. Yeah. That's right. And you said that's where the two of you met. Mm -hmm. This morning. Oh, who we got here? Who's that? Who's that? Seems like there's some importance to that guy. What does that say? I can't even look at what that said. What that yeah. is. If it's all right with you, I'd feel better if I gave you a ride home. I'd appreciate a ride. Thank you. Ed, come along with me and we'll drop her off on our way to the station. Sure thing. Guy just called what he was going to say, didn't I? Just called it out. 
Oh, okay. I don't think you can get in here. But I don't like this place. How do I get out? I don't know. Let's keep... Let's crawl, I guess? Okay, well, there's only one direction we can go there, so... I don't know. What's this way? I don't want to go the wrong way, but I don't really think I've got much of an option. Okay. Turn left. And then that way. Probably get to a dead end or something. There's handprints there. I'm a little concerned about why there are handprints there. And they're appearing right behind me. Bloody handprints now. But she remembers something. What is it? Is it useful? What is that? Hansel and Gretel. But Hansel and Gretel were too clever. Too clever for their stepmother. Stepmother. They had sprinkled breadcrumbs in the forest behind them as they walked. And the clever children. That's the end of the story, isn't it? Straight back home. What stepmother means? When they finally got away from the from, when they finally got away from the witch. Why? Because if she was the real Emma, she'd never want to lose them. Good point. She just wants to give them big tickles. Come here, you. Hey, Mama. That's a good idea. Leave money behind us. I mean, I don't know if we need to do it here, but we do need to find a way out of here now. I'm never going to remember which way I came. I guess it was... Oh yeah, I know where it was. I know where it was. So we go this way. Oh, and now we're back there. I'm going to crawl up this time. Oh, because it's changed the angle. Oh, we came from the left, so we'll go to the right. No, that's not good. I guess she refuses to go that way. Okay. She will not go where the blood is. Right, so we came from over here. No, because... Oh. What happened there? Right, well, I think we might use... Can we use our pesos to... We can use these like in the story breadcrumbs to mark the way. Well, let's go this way. I think we're looking for another... Possibly looking for another one of those things that we found before. Oh, we found a... There's a vent there. Oh, I wish it wouldn't change the direction of the camera. What's that? Don't know. Let's go up here. <gasps> no! Oh, I just fell down to the next level. I don't think I don't know if I wanted to do that. I think we probably can use pesos again to navigate. Hmm. Guess we look for the way out of this way. We're going left. We're going up. This is a fairly straightforward path. Until they do that silliness. I feel like we might have missed some things on that other floor, but I don't think we can really do anything about We couldn't do much about it. Yeah, you're dreaming. Wake up. I feel like there are some other memories here. Should I really wake up or should I continue dreaming? I don't really mind. Let's just wake up. I must have dozed off while looking at Uncle Javi's journal. What was that sound? Is someone in my apartment? Left the cell phone in the kitchen. Can we push this bookshelf in the way, maybe? Who's in the house? Push it. To the right. Yeah, exactly that. 
That should slow them down. If we can get out the window, that would be helpful. And out we go. Help! Please help me! We've got a ladder. Can we just... Please. Can we climb help. down, maybe? Is it late? There's nobody there. Gotta get off the fire escape quickly. Down the ladder you go. Obviously. Oh, we've got a broken ladder there. It's this mechanism. Which way am I going to turn that? Uh, the handle came off. Well, that's not useful. Um, let's go. Oh, well, well, let's go this way. Maybe there's something we can do. Pounding stopped. Get back up this ladder now. So it was lucky we weren't in that window, wasn't it? Because it's all barred. And I guess we want to maybe take this next ladder. Get up that ladder. Just don't even... Okay, we're going to use that handle that we got, I guess, with this mechanism. And then what do we do? Okay. Guess that's it, and then we can climb this ladder. Maybe. Let's see what we got. Broken glass. What do we want broken glass? Oh, I think I know what we want broken glass for. That sounded like the bootcase falling over, yeah. There he is, Luke. Right, let's... Well, don't shout, then he knows where you are. I have to cut him off. Can we use that to... There's a rope there, can we cut that? Yeah, we can cut the rope. If we're quick enough. Come on, cut the rope. Yes. That's what we want. We've cut the rope. And he can't get to us. Until he goes up the fire escape. Oh. I was going to say, until he goes up indoors and goes through there. Anna. But there's the police and Ed. Detective. So we're okay. We're get you out of here. Come on, let's go. Well, that was lucky. Very lucky. Why didn't they let her know they were there? Do you think that would be sensible? Let them know they're there. Okay. I will be. Thanks. Who was that man? And why was he chasing me? I don't, you, I don't your, know. your guess is good as mine. I need to get rid of him. I don't see anybody. Hmm. If someone was following us, we must have lost him. Well, that's something at least. I think he wants to. to I think he means he wants to get rid of the do. police officer. You're safe with me, Anna. But I think that he maybe is trustworthy. We can dust your apartment, figure out mm, that scumbag. I don't think you should call it in. No. Ed. Anna, the note we found in your uncle's journal. What? What note? What are you not telling me? Anna. Maybe we should trust him, Ed. Yeah, I think what? he's trustworthy. No. It's up to you. I'm going to trust, trust him. I feel Thank like he's you. probably a decent person. Now, will someone tell me what's going on? But I could be wrong. I'm sorry we were keeping you out of the loop, detective, but we had to. Could be a mistake. To, huh? We found this note from my uncle. They're after me. Do not trust the police. And you thought this meant me? We couldn't be sure. Yeah. That explosion in the lab was no accident. It definitely wasn't an accident. Was working yeah. on a powerful new technology. Someone used his own technology to kill him. If Dr. Morales has a vault somewhere with a more vault, of this technology yeah. contained inside, he has a we vault. need to secure it before anyone else can get to it. I really should report this. Excuse me? No, you can't do that. 
If Morales was right, and someone on the force was after him... Please, Detective. Just give us 24 hours. Help us. Surely you've broken a few regulations in your time. Ah, well, you got me there. 24 hours. Yep. No more secrets. We got him there. Deal. Good. Because I got a couple questions need answering. Ask away. You'd better tell us what all the hubbub is about. What did Morales create? I'll show you. Using the lab super collider, Dr. Morales... Okay, so we're going to find out what the experiments are all about now. The particle always comes in pairs, a positive and a negative, yin and yang. Bound together, they form the substructure of the electron. So is yin and yang a scientific term These now, two is it? particles actually occupy the same space by vibrating through space-time. We call this vibration resonance. Let's uh, pretend that all made sense. What's the big deal? The big deal isn't knowing that these particles exist, it's in what you can do with them. Dr. Morales was designing resonance devices that could neutralize the effect of resonance, allowing you to separate the twin particles. Two particles. You can't, like, bake a cake devices. with them then. Yeah. You can place these devices some distance. Cauterizing off arms and legs isn't particularly. The particles uh, instantly revolutionary, I'm afraid. Collide in the exact center and release a large amount of energy. Anything within a certain area of effect is completely pulverized at an atomic level. That's probably what he's done then, isn't it? The further you pull the particles apart before disabling the devices, the larger the area of effect. In fact, Why would you do that? Morales and I have <laughs> a precise formula predicting the inverse relationship. All right, all right. So you take two devices, separate them, and when you shut them off, whatever's in the middle goes boom. Well, yeah. You could have just said that. that. Yeah. <laughs> so what's in this vault? Nobody knows. I didn't even know of its existence until earlier today, so I can't be sure. No. But I'm guessing it's a report. No, he can't. Research into resonance parts, including his designs for the resonance devices used to separate them. Maybe even prototypes. Whatever is in it, it's dangerous in the wrong hands. Excuse me? The Dr. Morales is dead, it's just out there waiting to be found. But we're going to be the ones to find it. Uh, let's ask about the circumstances of his death, I guess. So what you're saying now is that the explosion in Morales' lab was not an accident. The way that hole was cut in right. the lab, it had to be a resonance weapon. But Dr. Morales couldn't have caused it himself. Why not? An event of that size would require two very precisely placed devices miles apart. Miles apart. In the center. This was no accident. Hmm. Tell us something about those resonance weapons then. So what would a resonance weapon look like? Dr. Morales was designing these resonance devices for peaceful applications. Mm -hmm. But weaponizing them would be fairly simple. How the simple are we talking about here? Small. Softball size, maybe. By placing a device on either side of a target, calculating the distance required to achieve the intended area of effect, and synchronizing their release with some kind of uh, radio detonator. Or a cell phone. Sure, or a cell phone. You could take out anything you wanted to. Pretty much. Place resonance Sounds like it, pretty much. And vaporize someone's heart as they walk through. Well, <laughs> it's not Excuse me. technically vaporizing. Or pull them farther away and erase a whole building from existence. Mm. I suppose. If I mounted could these things on planes or satellites, just how big could you make well, them last? Well, there's no theoretical... You could potentially destroy the entire planet. So this vault has to be destroyed. What? No. Unlimited destructive power. Are you kidding me? No, that's only if the technology... Yeah, but... Correctly. How are you going to protect it? uncle wanted these resonance particles to bring about... How are you going to... How can you be sure? Even prosperity. Yeah, but is that really going to work? Someone's always going to want to have control. This was your uncle's dream. You can't let that die. No. The idealism of that is is admirable, I guess, but you know you can't trust that someone's not going to say, "I want this. This is mine now." My uncle left this task to me with his last words. So whether we destroy the vault or make sure the research gets into the right hands. Yeah, whose whose hands are right? Is there a problem with that? Whose hands are right? Now, Ed, how do we find Nobody can really tell. Well, um, my best guess is shut up. 
Get behind me. Hmm? Why? Okay, okay. Someone's there. I'm coming out. Who is it? Who is this guy? I told you someone was following us. Who, Who is you? this guy? My name is Ray. Ray Abbott. I was just walking through the park. Is he with them? With who? I swear, I'm alone. Yeah, well. You look familiar though, and I've got a feeling he probably remembers it. Yeah, when we were at the hospital. Were you listening to us there too? Okay, look. I'm a journalist. The Abbott Post online. All right, very good. Working on another story, and I heard the two of you talking about this vault and how the police may be involved. I smell the story, so I followed you guys. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. There's no reason for you to do that. You're the guy who wrote that story about the vice president. One in the same. Great, a fucking blogger. Yeah. Investigative journalist. I want to help. If you say so. No, no more people. It was supposed to just be Anna and me. Well. I guess if I can't stick around, I could just run with what I've got so far. That's not very good journalism, is it? Look, you don't know it. Doing that is not very good journalism. You need information, right? Well, that's my bread and butter. I have contacts. That's a good point. People who live under the radar, you need to know something they can get. Crooks, you mean. I've mm -hmm. exposed more bad guys than you Pretty much. Know. Now look here. No, he's right. We need his help. You sure? Yes. And if there is corruption in the police force, we could use his blog to help expose it. It's not a blog. It's a reputable news source. It's a blog. I swear to God, if you step out of line, I get it. You can trust me. Can we? Today I trust a can we really? Like you. Guys, we're not going to get anything done tonight. There's a motel on the corner. Let's yeah. cool off, get some rest, and think about our next move. We'll regroup right here in the morning. Agreed. So are these all the people... That we're playing as. Uh oh, what's this? What the the port's falling? You get rid of him. Hey, give that back. That's none of hmm. your business. It seems like he's maybe not as trustworthy as we thought. Let's go over this plan. Might have made a mistake. To find and open Dr. Morales' vault, we need He might not want to destroy it. The vault is most likely hidden somewhere inside Juno Laboratory. My guess is it's in one of the many underground tunnels. Probably. So we'll need a blueprint of the lab. Blueprints of all major buildings are on file in the city archives, which is in the police. Is it likely to be there? Do you not think they'd be a little more secretive about that? So there's Aventine City. Two. Even with the blueprints, we're going to need some kind of I've got a map. information on the vault. Where did that map come from? Exactly where in the lab it might be. Jimmy Olsen. It's yeah. simple, detective. We follow the money. Follow the money. Somebody had to build it, and it probably didn't come cheap. Probably not. I have a contact at the National Credit Service. He can get anyone's financial transaction history. If you shouldn't have that kind of power. Morales, the vault, maybe they can help us it's like uh, deleting it, deleting voicemail messages and uh, somebody's thing. So that would be. And three, yeah. we need to figure out how to open the vault. Yeah. Anna, that part's up to you. My uncle's last words were, your uncle holds the key. Yeah, well, the, Besides Javi, he had the book. I only had one other uncle. He's buried near my parents in All Saints Cemetery. Uh, oh, it'll be the, yeah, the, key there, but the clues Ed, to resolve I'd that like cipher, I guess. Oh, uh, sure thing. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, we'll split up. Remember, no talking to police and no posting stories on your blog. difficult. For a policeman not to talk to the police. Good luck, everyone, and thank you. And who is, who is it that's telling him what to do? Right. I feel like right now. I don't. Do you know I don't actually know how to save my game. I'm assuming it's there. Yeah, there we go. Save game. New file. And the usual name that we will put on our saves is, of course, Supernatus. We save. Um, yeah, so I'm probably going to make that a good point to kind of cut off there for tonight. Uh, oh, I might just raise that for next time, so it's a little clearer. Uh, yeah, so we're going to make that the uh, last piece of this game for the evening. I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. Uh, we'll continue on with that in the next couple of days. I'm back with more Blue Dragon probably tomorrow, uh, if we get the chance. 
Uh, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you'll tune in next time. Keep an eye on my Twitter page. That's twitter.com slash supernotice to find out when I'm live. Uh, usually roughly around 10pm UK time. And uh, have a look at my YouTube channel as well. That's uh, Super Notice Streams. Uh, it's fully up to date now with everything up to Blue Dragon yesterday. And we'll probably upload this video tomorrow. Uh, we're going to try and keep on top of that a lot more quickly. Um, and please feel free, you know, if you if you can think of any games, adventure games like this that uh, you think I might like, uh, or you think might be nice to see, to see being played through. Although I suppose one of the problems with that is, you know, when, once you've played a game like that, you don't necessarily need to see someone else do it, do you? Uh, unless you're interested in how they're talking about it, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see where we go and what we do and. Bear in mind, I'm always interested in playing most games that are out on Xbox and, you know, a lot of games on PC that I can play, although I'm not on a super high-end PC. But it's good enough to run a decent amount of things. Uh, so thank you very much, as I say, and I will speak to you all again next time, probably tomorrow evening. Good night.